Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Um, this video is a little late in the day, not when I normally post it. I got together with a friend today at a coffee shop and we got to stitch and catch up and she's actually teaching me how to knit. Can't wait to share that soon. Um, what I wanted to do this, yesterday we started September's prompt for our stitch books and um, the first one we did was um, make a stitch book, like a collage house, and I made mine a little bit mixed media. And um, this cover was made with a master board. I do have videos on master boards. I'll put that in the description area below. So last month um, was weave, and we uh, made, this is the weave book, and we made a whole bunch of different weaves. And what I was thinking, I started, um, I wanted to practice on a, like a, a piece of like fabric block and I made this one and I started slow stitching on it and I loved it so much. I'm having so much fun with this piece. I'm still working on it and I love the feel of it. I made a heart weave and I've just started slow stitching on it. And I talked about it would be a lot of fun. I had the idea every month that we do a new prompt for our stitch books, I want to make some blocks of those shapes and stuff that we uh, use. And then next year, maybe by this time or sooner, I would have enough blocks to either make um, a panel, a wall hanging, or an art quilt. And I'm actually leaning towards making an art quilt with the blocks that I make. So, so far I've started on these and I wanted to do a house one too. I might have to shift this over a little bit. So what I'm going, you know, because I want to do blocks from the themes that we're going to work through. I thought that would be fun. So if you want to do this project, let's just say you, you not working on stitch books right now, but you want to do like an art quilt or a panel or a wall hanging. And this is, this is the perfect, um, and you want to use blocks and you want to do slow stitching and, you know, do different shapes on the blocks. This is going to be a great series for you, I think. Um, in October and November, we have more prompts coming up and we're going to work with mushrooms again, but we're going to do something different. Um, I did do a weave mushroom here and here, so I'll, I'll probably wait to do a mushroom block maybe in October or November, so it just depends. Um, this month's prompts is uh, dot and leaves, so uh, check out that video. I'll put a direct link of that as well in the description area, and then I'll have the uh, stitch book playlist. So if you're not doing, again, if you're not going to do the stitch books, but you want to use the prompts to make a quilt or for your quilting projects, you, you will definitely want to follow along um, with that series. And you'll want to make um, master boards. So I do have videos on that. And I've got more master board videos coming out because I do different types of master boards. And I've shown two videos so far. All my videos and projects build on each other. So that's the great thing about them. Um, so what I did, I had a little like a scrap and that was kind of hanging from this one and I cut it and I made this. So there's, you know, you can even take like, this is a scrap piece of, from a master board that I've just been cutting out like little square and rectangle shapes and triangles. And that's how I make um, these little houses like that. So this is a super fun project. Isn't that cute? Still have the needle in there. <laughs> so I'm going to start on this one. What I did was I now they don't always have to be exactly the same size. These are pretty wonky. You can make your square if you want. I'm a bit of I like doing bits of scrappy and odd shapes and stuff. So this is a slightly bigger than these two blocks, but that's okay because when I start slow stitching, it's going to shrink down. 
like this one's a little bigger too see but it was this size it's just shrinking a little bit so keep that in mind you can do whatever size block you want and um this is going to be a great project so what i did was i just cut this and made this from my master board and i just used some uh, for basting this to this fabric i just used elmer's washable glue you don't have to do that you can just start the stitching you know so i'm probably going to go i'm going to go back and stitch this down and then i'm going to start my slow stitching and this fabric is from Joann's and it was just like a big map and this is North America. And then I took some linen that I had, just a scrap and I adhered it so I can have like a really good foundation for slow stitching. Cause this is really thin fabric, it just helps, you know? And then I cut it like that. Let me just take this off. So I cut like a squarish type piece and a wonky triangle and I glued it down. I might actually maybe do a door, but I need a, I'm thinking about doing a solid color for a door. Just see here, I kind of want them to be like that. Okay. This is going to be an ongoing project, so I'm not going to be posting weekly updates on this. So it'll probably be monthly, maybe once or try, try twice. Oh, did you just hear that, y'all? Twice. <laughs> twice. Oh my goodness. Um like twice a month and I'll show you the progress and um, also if one of the prompts is a little more intricate or whatever and I want to do a block of it I might I'll do a video on that if I need to I can't believe I said trice what is so I hope you want to this is a great project like let's just say you're kind of in a slump or you just want a little piece of fabric just to do a little slow stitching on and this is the perfect project you can get grab a bag or a basket and keep these in there and just work on a block grab a block work on it put it back in your basket and be on your way and come back to it whenever you feel like it so this is another great project for that for stitch play slow stitching so this is what I got and um, I'm gonna um, this is I'm gonna call this episode one and I'm not sure exactly when I'll come up with the next episode so but I will create a playlist for this project so in case you want to follow it, um, I highly recommend doing this project I mean before you know it next year you'll have enough blocks um, for an art quilt, for a quilt, you know, that's, the, that's a fun thing about this. Um, and I'm hand stitching, I'm doing slow stitching with this. So that is my journey. I don't do machine sewing, not right now. I do have a sewing machine, but I'm really enjoying the hand stitching, uh, journey very much. So, okay, well definitely check out those links below in the description area. And I hope this gave you an idea. And um, I will update this project soon. Um, it just depends on how far I get in this. And also if I come up with an idea or something, I'll definitely make a video on it. So, okay. Well, I hope y'all like this video and y'all are having a great weekend and Sunday. Um, and I want to say my best to you and yours. And, uh, I hope you got to create some this week, this weekend, and uh, let me know in the comment area what projects y'all are working on. That would be really cool to hear about, and um, I will see y'all soon. Bye for now.